we'll start with Greg Hunter. So, Letty, um, Coach Brown has already said that he didn't want to run you too much this spring and, and put you in jeopardy of, of injury. So what do you work on? you played a lot of football, but what do you try to do this spring? Um, I pretty much do everything that the team does. Um, but um, I'm real big on, like, uh, blitz pickup, recognizing blitz, recognizing the coverage of the defense, just breaking down the defense as practice go around. Cody Nesper. Hey, Letty. As the uh, old guy in the running back room now, um, do you feel yourself taking on more of a leadership role? Is that something you're actively trying to do? Um, yes. Uh, I've been meeting with uh, Coach Brown about uh, how to be um, at least like once a week. And um, we've been uh, talking about different uh, leadership uh, acts, I guess. John Antoni. Hey, Letty, you, you doubled your production from your the, the year before to the to last year. Can can you do that again this year? <laughs> and uh, what, what are some of the th goals and things that you're shooting for this year? Um, um, I believe I can do it again this year. Like that's no doubt in my mind. That's the reason why I came back to West Virginia to prove that I can do it and prove people that think I can't do it wrong. Um, my goal for this year is just to prove people wrong, like as simple as that. Like I'm here to prove people wrong, show people like I'm one of the best backs in the Big 12, if not the best back in the Big 12. What would it mean to have back-to-back thousand-yard -back rushing years? It would mean a lot because um, I know a lot of people thought I couldn't do it, think I can't do it, and uh, Coach Scott reminds me that every day. Uh, every day I'll step in our position meeting room. He tell me, prove it wrong, like every day, pr prove it wrong, prove it wrong, prove it wrong. So that, that that's my main focus for this season, to prove people wrong. Greg Hunter. So, Letty, you mentioned there, you, you, you know, you wanted to come back for this. So take us back to the end of last season. Um, in, in your decision to return, um, did you really consider not returning to college? And then ultimately, why did you think it was best for you? Um, yes, I did uh, have many talks with my mom and my family, Coach Scott and Coach Brown about me either staying or going. Um, and we all decided that the best thing for me is, is to stay. Uh, just because, like, I still have to work on the little things, not so much more like my running style, my just like the little things as in like bringing down the defense, recognizing the defense, route running and catching the ball. So that's all the things that I can come back this year and show the NFL scouts that I can do that and I can be a big lead back in the NFL. Letty, we have an email question here from Bob Herzl. Um, what does uh, Coach Brown want out of the leader? And do you find it easy to uh, uh, do what he wants, or do you have to you have to push yourself to be and be assertive? Um, Coach Brown is looking for somebody that's going to call everybody out, even his friends. Don't matter who who it is, they they roommate anybody. They want everybody on the same page. Um, just a responsible person that's willing to step up and take on that leadership role and speak to the team when the team's down, bring the team, bring the team up when they're down, and uh, stuff like that. And how do you think you uh, fit that role? Do you have to push yourself for that, or is that something that comes natural to you? Uh, I'm pretty laid back, so I have to push myself to do that. Like, um, uh, like I said uh, before, uh, the, the means is um, him just telling me, like, what I did good that week in, like, a leadership standpoint and what I didn't and what I can um, approve on. Okay. Our next question comes from Kevin Kinder. Levy, how much more important is it for you and for your teammates to be able to work out and go through the winter program and then obviously once spring's over through the spring, 
around each other, not separated by COVID. You know, I was thinking about, you know, the motivation, pushing each other, the encouragement. Is that a big difference for you? Uh, yeah, it's a huge difference. Like, the whole team's on the same page. Like, we're trying to come and dominate the Big 12 next year. And you can really tell in practice and the workouts that the whole team's in. It's not one person that's halfway in and halfway out. Greg Hunter. So, Letty, okay, let's – you play coach. Look at the guys behind you in the running back room, the young guys. So, what do you see from each of them? Um, Tony's um, more – more like me when it comes to like a running back standpoint, like he's really explosive, really strong, and can um, make them tough runs when them tough runs are needed. But um, he's coming along real well, well as um, we get further and further into spring. Uh, Spiro, he's more like a speed guy, but he can have that explosive strength. Um, but he he's he a little fast, like he little, he think a little fast for for himself. And he just slow the game down and really break it down as it go. But I think he's going to uh, catch on as spring uh, goes along as well. Back to John Antony. Hey, Letty, uh, you're one of the uh, the top backs returning in the Big Twelve. Uh, do you pay attention to those other guys who's coming back? Reese Hall, a uh, guy from Texas. Uh, do you, you look at that a little bit, compare yourself to them a little bit? No, I'm not that type of person that feeds into all that. I'm just worried about myself, my family, and reaching my goal. So you don't pay attention to what those guys do? You do, Is there any backs that you look at and kind of emulate their style, or do you do your own thing? As in, like, college backs or NFL? Yeah, either, either or, yeah. Um, I uh, I really like how Alvin Kamara uh, plays with his patience and his explosion, uh, catching the ball out the backfield. Um, Aaron Rodgers, I mean Aaron Jones is another back that I pay attention to and try to uh, mimic my run game after. So guys that kind of fit your style a little bit, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Cody Nesper. Liddy, you talked a lot last year about um, improving your relationship with the offensive line. Uh, just how do you think, you know, over the course of the season, how do you think that played out? And then how have you continued to do that uh, this offseason? Um, I feel like it played out well last season. Um, we had a pretty good O-line last season, and the run game improved a lot. Um, um, this season, um, I decided to – start doing extra with the O-line, extra whatever, extra conditioning, extra lifting, whatever. Um, we're in a big group message. We all just be goofing around in. That's just me uh, getting to know them guys, getting to know the, the new linemen that's coming in because the old linemen pretty much trust me. So that's kind of me, my act of earning the chest of the linemen that's coming in now. We will go back to Greg Hunter for our next question. Yeah, so Letty, the last question for me. Um, in terms of you catching the football, you've caught it a lot uh, in past seasons, but you've mentioned you want to work on that. Coach Brown's mentioned that that's an area that they want to work with you. Uh, so how, how do you get better there? Can you get better there? Um, just working one-on-one uh, drills with uh, Coach Coach Parker, the receivers coach. He's an excellent receivers coach. He's just te teaching me techniques to for different looks that I might get running a certain route. We'll go back uh, to John Antoni. Same thing along those lines with touches. 31 catches is a pretty good number. Is that is that a, a target number for you this year? And do you think that helps you in the eyes of, of pro scouts showing your versatility? Um, yeah, 31 is – a pretty good number, but I'm looking to improve that number uh, this coming season. And um, me catching the ball more will catch the eye, uh, eyes of the NFL scouts because that's what they're looking for in backs now. Backs that can do it all, run, catch, block, uh, uh, the full package. And that's what I'm trying to uh, show them that I can do.